is from Toronto, Rahil Raza, the author of the book, Their Jihad, Not My Jihad, and a board member of the Muslim Canadian Congress. So, Ms. Raza, why do you oppose building that mosque downtown? Well, I, po I oppose the idea along with other members of the Muslim Canadian Congress because it's confrontational, it is in bad faith, and it doesn't uh, really set up any kind of dialogue or discussion on tolerance. Well, the uh, pro-mosque forces, including the mayor of New York City, say, number one, to deny the mosque would be a uh, you know slap in the face of freedom of religion, and number two, the reason that the community center mosque is wanted there by the Muslims involved is to show respect, respect for the victims of 9-11. You're not buying that? Well, no, as a Muslim, I'm not buying that at all. How does building a mosque in, in the very place where Muslims murdered so many other Americans would uh, create any kind of respect? What I'm hearing from people, especially those who are victims and fam uh, who are family of, of the victims, is that this is very hurtful and it's very painful. And as a Muslim, I read in my holy book, the Quran, that we should not, we should be very sensitive towards people of other faiths, especially when we are living in lands that are not Muslim lands, and these are our neighbors and our colleagues and the people we care about. We don't show our caring for them by being intolerant. Uh, building a mosque or a place of worship in the particular spot across the street from Ground Zero is a slap in the face of all Americans. I mean, New Yorkers have um, experienced this pain, and the people who are behind this project are themselves Americans and New Yorkers. I can't begin to imagine how they would even conceive an idea that building a mosque there, which is an exclusive place of prayer for Muslims, would in any way build tolerance and respect. Major Bloom, Mayor Bloomberg and other bleeding heart white liberals like him don't understand the battle that we moderate Muslims are faced with in terms of confronting radical Islam and Islamization and political Islam in North America, which has only grown since 9-11 because of political correctness and people, because of their politically vested agendas, not speaking out against issues like this. What a great answer, Ms. Raza. I, I, I'm, I have to compliment you. That was about as articulate an uh, indictment of this whole crazy thing that I've heard.